I get I, it? Listen, to be frank, yeah. and call me an idiot, call yeah. me a moron. When Bitcoin went from 69 to 20, I bought five more Bitcoin. Boom, you done. Five, yeah. you know, 100 grand in Bitcoin. Mm-hmm. Cool, great. I had a couple before that. Yeah. But I was like, fuck it, let's do this. I've never <clears> been <throat> an advocate of the, the... I mean, I tell people two to five, three to eight percent of your liquid net worth diversify put into crypto that's my- i don't understand why everyone advertises this diversification crap diversification is garbage like tell me i'm warren, in. tell me i'm warren wrong buffett, teach me something go yeah. ahead mm. warren buffett himself says it's stupid and he only has to do it because he has so much money he has what, no choice what do you mean by diversification yeah you think i should People, put 100 percent into crypto yep yes i do really? really yes i do so you shouldn't have hear me out yeah anything in the stock market forget about nope. 401ks roth iras forget about all that kind nope. of stuff like that Mm-mm. Um, REITs, real estate, anything with that. Trash. All trash. All trash. So the only thing you're saying 100%, you said cash and crypto. Yes. Cash yep. and crypto. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's worked out real good for me. <laughs> I'm sure it has. So like, But you also got into Bitcoin when 2011, when it was fucking 10 cents. Yeah, so but like, right. you're, Ethereum, you're a godfather in that Ethereum respect. Ethereum was just 88 bucks like a year and a half ago. Now it's, uh, you know, 2,000 bucks. Mm-hmm. So, you know, the, these opportunities keep availing themselves. Pulsechain.com is going to come out you know, hopefully soon. Hex.com is on a 90% dip now. Like, we have these things where you're lucky enough that they dip that you can get an entry. There's some things that never dip. Like, like try and catch a dip on, like, uh, Amazon. I guess you can. But, yeah, but, it but if you look at the bit, chart, crazy. if yeah. you look at the chart historically, it is, like, up and to the right forever. It, mm-hmm. it's like, so why would you... Okay, here's the theory. Somewhat, someone somewhere said that you should diversify, and then everyone thought, yeah, that sounds good. But then they never actually put any thought into it. Like if I were to, I could beat you up about this. You I know want to. I, I want to learn something. Okay. Go ahead. Yeah. Why do you think diversification is good? Well, asset allocation. You're saying. I mean, how, why, I, I'm not, not going to keep. Answer. Okay, hear me out. I'm not going to keep all my I'm money in cash. Bust your balls on this. Fine. I'll, okay. I want to learn. So right. it's all good. We're, okay. we're having fun. Okay. I don't want to keep all my money in cash. I'd sure. probably say 10 percent of my cash is trash. It just goes to zero. Cool. I get that. Yeah, but on, the only super super wealthy people can dare say cash is trash. 75% well, of Americans are living paycheck to paycheck, brother. Go tell the average American that cash is trash. You're going to get slapped in the face verbally, not physically, okay? <laughs> so you can't say that. Ray Dalio said that at the World Economic Forum in fucking Davos uh, pre-COVID. Uh, and then it was like, everyone's like, yeah, thanks, Ray Dalio. You're a billionaire hedge fund guy. The rest of the world needs cash. They don't, but respect. Though. What do you mean they don't need cash? You do, you, when you have the ability to instantly convert a real asset into cash on a just-in-time basis, you do not need to expose yourself to the only goes to zero fiat currency horror. And the rest of the world has it far worse. The dollar is at all-time low value, but other currencies are at 40-year low value versus the dollar. So mm-hmm. those guys got screwed even harder. Yeah, the dollar's pretty strong right now. Actually. Yeah, the euro lost a third of its value yes. over the last 14 years versus Correct. the dollar, and the dollar lost a massive amount of its value mm-hmm. versus the stuff that you want, like versus Big Macs. They, they keep getting more expensive. So it's not yeah, the, the, I go to the uh, if you go to the dollar store, everything's two bucks now. Right. The dollar menu at yep. McDonald's, everything's like dollar forty nine. Yep. It's like yep. what just happened here, yep. guys? One hundred percent, bro. One hundred percent. It's because it, it's not because the stuff went up in price. It's because the dollar is worth nothing now, and it will continue to do that. They will mm-hmm. continue to devalue that dollar until it's worth nothing. So if you can sit in any type of real asset that they just don't print for fun all the time, mm-hmm. like the dollar, and then convert as needed, then you don't get wrecked holding the dollar. Like if you if you if you had a hundred thousand dollars of savings ten years ago, well, guess what? The interest rate you earned didn't mm-hmm. meet inflation. You lost money saving. Okay, let's play a game. Yeah. Ready? Because I want to. I still got to bust your balls yeah. on why diversification sucks. I want to. I want to stay yeah. here. Sure. So if you, uh, this is about that diversification. Yeah. Yeah. Let's say someone has a hundred grand in cash. Yeah. Let's just use an easy number. Mm-hmm. Some people be like, "Oh my god, I wish I had a hundred grand." Some people be like, hundred grand. I mean, I'm a fucking millionaire. He's probably losing four percent a year. Okay. In in. Adjust- Most adjusted. people would say, all right, you take a good portion of that, make sure that's in your retirement account, retirement fund. I assume you're not ha- working with 401ks mm. these days, bro, or Roth IRAs. Peter Thiel just turned a 401k into like $5 billion somehow, yeah. but that's a you know that's a well, whole other story. I, it's very easy. He just put his shares of his startups in the thing. That's it. It's Interest, a tax. Yeah. You can tax stick advantage, shares in it. Tax free, yeah. the whole thing. Yeah. But a lot of people will say, have some of the stock market. You know, have some stuff yes, in real but estate. But why though? Okay. Why? Because crypto Tell didn't me exist why. at that point, bro. Mm-hmm. Tell me. Yeah. When it's did so crypto stupid. become mainstream? It was stupid then when, too. When did crypto become mainstream? Like to the point Never. where you could it's say. It's still not mainstream. That's why there's still opportunity. Now. No, it's still not mainstream. That's why there's still opportunity. Meaning like. 
If I put a gun like in, your in head, the nomenclature, if people I put a gun know what Bitcoin head, I was like, is. Send me a thousand dollars with your crypto wallet right now. You'd be dead because you don't have that. Like you don't have a crypto wallet in your phone. You don't have a thousand dollars to send me. You probably don't know how to use it. You don't remember your password. It's not mainstream at all. It's not mm-hmm. mainstream at all. So you're saying was, the actual concept of having a crypto wallet. Everyone. Yeah. What, nobody I, what, uses what I mean. It. Is, what I mean is everyone knows what Bitcoin is. Right. No. That's mainstream. I don't. I don't think they do. They don't Richard, know details, how are you, but everyone they know knows what, what Bitcoin they know is. It's no, they don't. We Point could, to somewhere hey, in the world that they don't know where Bitcoin mobile. is. We could go mobile and just interview people on the street on this one. Like and say, but and it's, say it's do, have you heard of Bitcoin? <laughs> but what does that mean? It doesn't matter if they've heard of it. But that's it, what mainstream is. Yeah. Pop culture, Dark. they know about it. I'm not saying they have a crypto wallet. Mm-hmm. And then they can... I'm not saying... I think, I think cell phones were mainstream when people owned them, not when they heard of them. I think crypto is mainstream when you have a wallet, not when you heard of it. I don't think heard of it is a good mesh... Like, Heard of it is not useful. Like people, people have heard. Like people have heard of Tiger King. Doesn't mean it's mainstream. Anyway, so look back to the yeah, diversification. Back to diversification. Diversification okay. is retarded. It's really stupid. Here's a good performing asset. Here's an amazing performing asset. And here's a trash performing asset. Let me get a, a little bit of each one. Let me let me sprinkle some dookie mm-hmm. on my spaghettios because like it's different and <laughs> different's better for a reason I can't answer. Like no, different's not better. You've got something that's the best performing asset class of all time, which mm-hmm. is cryptocurrency, that removes counterparty risk, which makes things more efficient, which solves problems like the one you saw in Canada where you buy a sandwich for someone at a political event, and now they seize your bank account. Yeah. That happened. I remember. Canada seized people's bank accounts for Very buying well sandwiches yes. for other people Horrible performing situation. a peaceful... Horrible situation. Crypto solves that. Like, mm-hmm. There's so many things wrong with the world right now, and one of the only good things out there that's solving some of those things is cryptocurrency. Mm-hmm. And so not only do you get to be rich and, and mm-hmm. actually own your own money and actually hold your own keys and not have to beg the credit card company to turn your card back on, to beg your credit card company or your bank to send the money where you want to send it with worse hours, worse fees, the lowest interest rates that have ever existed, it's all the, the least number of branches, the least number of ATMs, an actual war on cash globally. Everything sucks except crypto. It's going good. So why would I dilute my crypto gains when I could buy the dip with a bunch of this other garbage that takes 14 years to 2x? And I'm still paying capital gains tax. I'm still only paying 20% cap gains tax if you hold it a year. Why, like, why would I bother with all that stuff that sucks? Now, I can answer that question for you. Okay? I can mm-hmm. tell you the reason why people thought that uh, diversification made sense. If you have a bunch of things that are volatile... Mm-hmm. and you spread that volatility out, it reduces the chance that if you have to sell for some reason, you're selling at like a local bottom in that thing. And so if you spread your volatility out a bunch across, across a bunch of stuff, then you, you can end up with slightly better returns. Or you could just buy the thing that went up a million percent. <laughs> Instead of this limp dick trash, wait 14 years to get a 2X. And by the way, that's still better than real estate. Like the stock market's still better than real estate. And it, historically, so like, if you only have cash, please buy an index fund of the S and P five hundred. Mm-hmm. If you have real estate uh, stuff, probably you're going to do better in stocks. They traditionally do better. But you crypto, real estate traditionally does better than stocks. No, the other way. Stocks, stocks do better, better than real estate. Yeah. Correct. Yeah. So like, Correct. and then why not just do the thing that overperforms? Like, you could have invested ten times less money and made ten times more money mm-hmm. in crypto, and then ha- and then like you have less risk. Like you only put up 10, you only put up one tenth of the money that you would have otherwise had to put up. And by the way, you can buy the top in real estate. Like I think the real estate tops in, like as long as interest rates go up, real estate goes down, period. Same with stock market. That's why it's hard to tell what the Bitcoin bottom will be because it's based on the interest rates. So Bitcoin is totally correlated to the stock market. Stock market's inversely correlated to interest rates. Interest rates go up, stocks go down, houses go down, everything goes down. It's just on a delay. I called the watch top too. Like when the watch top was in, I called mm-hmm. it publicly. I'm like, when was the top of the watch market? When they started raising interest rates. It's, yeah. that, it's that easy. Beginning of the year. No. Yeah. So you're nodding over there. All right. Let, listen, we, we probably got, I don't know, at least a half hour left. I would like to spend more Please. time with you than that. No. Um, but let's get into some stuff. We got some super chats yes. out there. What do we think? We got some super so real su- quick, the read summary. Them out. The yes. summary. Diversification for idiots. No one that does it can even explain why they're doing it. They just mm-hmm. heard it was good to do. And in reality, instead of buying the thing with the best gains, you're just buying a bunch of trash because you don't know any better. I hear you. No. A part of it, you brought up the S&P 500. That's the whole, like, why buy five companies? Why buy 100 companies? Buy 500 companies. That's diversification. Kind of, but maybe. I just like its chart. Look, there's a price chart. Mm-hmm. You buy here, you sell there. It's called speculation. I want the best price chart. 
If you have a crappy price chart, people try to make up with it with leverage. They get liquidated. They pay a lot of fees. You don't need to leverage up. When when Ethereum went from eighty eight bucks to five thousand bucks, or when Hex went from point oh 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 five six five five to point five six five five, an actual ten thousand X, diversification doesn't matter. I, I bought the world's richest. I, I bought the world's largest diamond with crypto. I bought ten million dollars of watches, mostly with crypto. I bought three million dollars of cars, all with crypto except for one. Yeah. So like, there's no reason to have limited gains in your life. Never. <laughs> Respect. You want to get to these uh, super chats? Yes, let's get to. Let's oh, do it. By chats. the way, you guys listening, most of you listening will probably buy a scam coin or some stupid coin that will go to zero, and you'll be like, "That Richard gave me bad advice." Buy coins that have product market fit that have existed for years. Don't get scammed. Mm-hmm. Which coins do you mean? Well, if you buy all these new coins that people are launching all the time, a lot of them mm-hmm. go straight to zero. They have bugs. They have flaws. They're scams. You know, if you buy coins that are just stupid meme coins, they're fun while they're fun, and then they're not fun anymore. Well, what are the good people, coins you're saying? Mm-hmm. I mean, Ethereum is a good coin. X is a good coin. Um, I like those ones the best. Uh, Do you have a top five if you could? Nope. Not <laughs> I mean, top five. I'm a Richard Hart maximalist, bro. So like <laughs> next year, it's going to be Pulse Chain, Pulse X, Hex on the Ethereum network, Hex on the Pulse Chain network. Um, but like, it, why would you want worse gains? So like Ethereum is now changing the way that they do their mining. They're trying mm-hmm. to do what Pulse Chain does, which is switch to proof of stake from proof of work so you don't have to blow up the environment. You don't have to pay for mining hardware. You don't have to pay those big electricity bills. You don't have to dump the price to do it. So they're, they're reducing their issuance rate. So when, if, and when they get to Ethereum 2.0, which they think will happen in the next 25 days, 27 days, um, it will greatly reduce the amount of new supply. Now, you dumb dumbs watching think this is a, a time to jump in. You're the reason buy the rumor, sell the news events exist. Everyone else already front run this, all right? Maybe it'll pump for this buy the rumor, sell the news event. But as soon as the thing launches, all the staked ETH becomes available. And 10% of the pl- supply was locked on the main chain mm-hmm. and will only become available for dumping once ETH 2.0 launches. Well, guess what, man? That's a lot of supply to come available at once. And you idiots are going to be the liquidity that gets dumped into. Do you, know, are, do you know what he means when he says buy the news, sell the rumors? No. You buy, the rumor, buy the rumor, sell the news. Sorry, buy, buy the, the rumor, rumor, sell the news. The news. You've heard yeah. it before? Yes, I've heard that. Okay, gotcha. Yeah. It's basically so, when it's in the news, yeah. everyone yeah. knows about it but, already. Right. Okay. I'll give an example. Yeah. Coinbase listing on uh, NASDAQ. Yeah. Guess what, bro? That's when I call the top. That's the top. Yeah. It mm-hmm. Everyone was ready for it. Yes. It's going to change everything. Yeah. It's a paradigm shift. Yeah. And that's the top. Yeah. You guys already bought. All that's left is sellers. Wrecked. I called mm-hmm. on the day. Crystal Ball, you got some super chats? Go yes, through those, please. Super chats, real quick. So we have Ballot Brand, 133. Thank you. He said, Richard changed my life following him since the beginning of 2017. Thanks for having him on. Then we had Dolomite Hex, 55. Thank you. Richard Wright, the best man in crypto. Uh, RH Max, Richard is at, uh, $55. Richard has the only products in crypto worth your time and effort. Thousands of millionaires made already. It's no joke. This is man is changing the world. Then we have Hex Yoda, $50. Ask Richard how he, he's been so right about everything while everyone else has been so wrong. What's the sorcery in this? I'm a damn genius. <laughs> <laughs> then we have Mike's World, $5. Were you able to get the ENS blockchains domains? I see the prices are crazy. I think those are trash. I hate all those fake domains. Mm. Hey, guys, we're going to sell you a domain that when you put it in a browser, it doesn't go anywhere. Mm. Are you guys nope. all idiots? Yeah, that sounds you, you You type the stupid thing and the URL. It doesn't work. Stop. Like It's so stupid. <laughs> then we have Hexcon55. He said, Richard Hart is a legend. What's up, everyone? 5555 Club. Hex changed my life forever. We have another one, $50, Cash Plus. Sorry, guys, for showing up to the party late. Richard Hart is the best man in crypto. Um, and then we actually had Jory Hex in the chat. Mm-hmm. Jory, um, Jory. Yes, Jory. Uh, she said, stake, stake it till you make it. Wish I was there in Miami now. <laughs> uh, and then we have another $5. Crypto is trash. Buy stock and profitable growing companies that make good and service wrecked. that people want. Chris Peterson. Chris Peterson, you're wrecked, pleb. Let's go compare Chris Network Peterson. Stock. Um, okay, what did, and then when are we going to rest them quick? People One are immune to charts. Yeah. I literally go on trading view. Yeah. I pull up the S&P 500 chart. I scroll back 14 years to get my 2X. And then I go to the hex chart and I scroll back 30 days to get the 2X. How stupid. It's math, bro. The math don't lie. So this guy, you would call him a hater, right? No, he's just, he's, well, he's just bad at math. Like <laughs> th- th- this is a very s- s- objective yeah, clinical mathematical measurement of time versus price. And you can do it for any type of asset that's mm-hmm. publicly traded. There's no reason to buy limp dick gains. There's not. It. It. 